On today's Tuesday Talk, we are talking about our composting toilet, doing an update, giving some details people have been asking about, things like that. That's one of the five things, by the way, I think it was five, right? That we would not boondock without. Yeah. We did a video about that earlier. Composting toilet is definitely one of those things that lets us stay out here where we are for, for long way longer. Yeah. So we have the Nature's Head composting toilet. Um, we installed it just regularly, 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 that way. Yeah. Um, I'll put a link to the video up above and used it like that for about a year and mm. really, really liked it. But the thing that we didn't like about it the most was the fact that the liquids had to get emptied pretty much daily, which was all this one's job. Cause I can't stand the smell. Um, I did the solids, no smell there. He did the liquids, but we had seen some other people do a cool renovation. Urine is pungent. Yeah. <laughs> it's pungent is, is really the right word for it. Yes. Luckily, I don't really have a gag reflex, so it just made sense yeah. for me to yeah. do it. But we, we saw a renovation we thought was really cool, which was diverting the liquids to go down into one of your tanks. And so we did that video up above and it has been working out great. Besides the times we've clogged it, which just recently happened, one was because of buildup um, from urine, and the other was because I let some of the, co the coconut core, some of the compost, get into the line accidentally when I was cleaning out the toilet. Um, but there was a pretty easy fix both times, and now I make sure to clean that line pretty regularly. So it's still working out great. We are so happy we have a composting toilet and not a regular... Excuse me. <laughs> that's the first time that's happened. I know. We are so happy that we have a composting toilet and not a regular RV toilet because like Steve said, it allows us to not use a lot of water and to combine our black and gray tanks since it's all gray water and really extend the amount of time we can stay out places. A few questions people have asked, what brand of coconut quart do we use? We've used two different brands. I don't remember them off the top of my head, but they're in our Amazon store, which I'll link above. Uh, we buy the big block. And then Steve cuts the big block into nine to 12 smaller pieces for me With using a jigsaw. a jigsaw, which we keep <laughs> in the back of our truck. And then we keep that in a tub. And this is a big tip. What we do is we then take a couple of those pieces, put them in Ziploc bags. I usually have about three gallon Ziploc bags at a time and put a little bit of water in the bottom of the bag, seal it up, leave them in the truck. So when I have to go and empty the composting toilet, all I have to do is go grab those three bags and those three bags have been sitting there with some water in them for a month and have already pretty much hydrated. They're pretty dry, but they're hydrated and I can break them apart really easy. And so that makes changing out the composting toilet so much easier. It takes me five minutes now. And then all we do is take a few more of those blocks, put them in the same Ziplocs that we just took the other ones out of, put some more water in and put them in for next time. So that makes a huge difference. Other question people asked, water to blocks ratio. I do what I just said. I put like a layer in the bottom, let it hydrate in the plastic bag, put it into the composting toilet, and then I check to see what the ratio is because sometimes we leave some of the compost from the previous time. And if it's looking a little dry, I add a little bit of water. It kind of depends on where we are and how it's, how it's doing. What we've noticed is if it's a little too dry, it will actually get a little bit of a sour smell to it. And that's a really good indication within the first day or two that we need to add a little bit more water. But you don't want it too wet. That's actually worse because then you have all sorts of problems. You have to change it out quicker, everything like that. So we don't actually have like a water to coconut core ratio. It's more by feel. And we've developed it over the last two plus years using it. So I can't really help with that one so much. I think that was all the questions. Oh, big question. Paper in, paper out. You want to answer that one? Sure, I will take this one. <laughs> paper out. Yes. Done. We have a little <laughs> trash can next to our toilet for all toilet paper. And then we empty it and clean it um, when it gets full and we take out the trash. So easy enough done. And compost that Compost is for compost, yeah, not it, toilet paper. It extends the life of the compost by a lot by not having toilet paper in there. So, and then if it's particularly something that we don't want sticking around, we'll put it in the trash and we'll take it outside. It's not, it's not a big deal. So. Yes. Yeah. 
So that is a Tuesday talk all about our composting toilet with links to the videos of where we installed it and things like that. If you have a question about our composting toilet or our system, please leave it in the comments below. If you have a question for a future Tuesday talk, also leave it in the comments below. Hopefully you like this video. If so, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if all you haven't already. Talk. Yes, lots of, lots of poop and pee. Lots of poop. Um, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.